Hey everybody, this is Mark with Iopal Tech Wednesday. And today we're gonna to be taking a look inside our development center of things. It's not really an app review or an item review. This is actually a service review, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. So let's take a look at it. So this is Apps Maker Store. This is one of the by far the best ways to make apps for iOS, Android, Windows Phone, even desktop. So this is pretty much drag and drop, which makes it super, super simple and easy to use and create and share and update. There's no coding at all. You don't need to know any code at all. It's just drag and drop. And it's that simple. So we have a few apps made using the service. First is the Iable Tech Wintweight app. You guys have probably used it before. It's very popular. It's our best app that we make, our best known one and lets you view news, our videos, our live events that we have, and a bunch of other stuff. So we made it using this service, and to this day it's been working absolutely perfectly, and I love it. So let's take a look real quick at what we have made. So we have this right here, our logo, then a background. I added this to match with iOS 8 for each version of iOS that's created. We have a new wallpaper, under news, we can search the archives so we can search. We have the latest news which shows the five latest articles and more news which shows the 10 news articles. So then I can read this stuff. I can go read more about it. And if I wanna read even more and see pictures, I can click the go button. That will then take me to that in the browser. Now, if I wanna click clicking the back button, I can scroll from the side and it brings up this context menu here. Or is it even called context? I don't know. So then under videos right here, it's a feed of all of our videos. You can click it, read more, learn about it. Then you can click go, take you to your browser and you can um, watch it. So under events, it has all of the latest events that we have. And then under more, there's support about push notifications. So you can get alerts when um, there's new articles or something. We'll learn more about that in a little bit. And then I can search through stuff right here. So that's fairly simple and easy. So let's go ahead and make one right here. So I just go to my app switcher. I'm gonna create a new app. Let's just call this test and continue. So this will then take me to the home page where there's tons of templates. So I can pick from a bunch of templates, but let's just go for a basic standard one. So this is it as I get an email that my account or the app has been created. Um, it's boring. So let's start off on the left side. We have design. Actually, let's go up here first. So I have my app name. I can create an app link so it's personalized. I can also add an icon. Um, we're not going to do that in this video, but it's there. So here's style. We can choose how we want these to show up. So we can have stuff on the bottom, buttons all around the middle, one like our app, one with arrows. So you get to pick a bunch of different types. Let's just do this one. Let's try London. Um, it's not gonna show anything because I don't have anything added. We can add a background. Let's see, we can do that or we can pick one, so. And you can also add independent and separate wallpapers for iPhones or mobile devices like phones and tablets. Then we have color, which is going to be background color, menu color, let's do a nice green. So that actually does override your wallpaper if you wanted that instead. Then we have icons. So these will also show up kind of green in the background. This was, this is the um, icons that show up for your Gadgets is what they call it. Um, we can change the color of them. So there's that. And font family, there's not a lot of choices, but we have that. I like Helvetica. So now let's go over to gadgets. We're just gonna make a very, very simple and plain app right here. I had to change the wallpaper, it was kind of annoying. Right. So there's a bunch of categories you can pick from basic information, shopping, management, media, news and feedback, entertainment, marketing and ads and maps, GPS and push. So let's just do a very basic one. We'll do an iframe. And what, if you don't know what an iframe is, it's basically 
um, a web browser within your app. So we can go ahead and click edit. We'll do a title. So I'll just say um, site and then we can go to our website. So now when the user clicks the word iframe and it says site, it will load that. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. I actually changed the theme. So you can actually see these icons right here. It's at the bottom now. Then we have about, so we can add a little bit of information about the application. So there's like description, contact us, and we'll say save. So now if someone clicks about, they can call me, but we don't want to call. And so this is a test version 1.0. And if we can add information, a bunch of other stuff. Then there's shopping, so you can sell stuff from the app. We have management, so we can do a live chat. You can add someone to a mailing list, show your events. For media, you can embed YouTube videos. You can have a share, put in podcasts, Twitter, Facebook feeds. We can add RSS, which is what we did for our events, videos, and articles. We can add reviews so people can review your app. You can also have weather and you have a bunch of the stuff so you can really make your app for whatever you want. Then we have radio, photo, blog. We can have some QR codes and ads. And there's POI push. So that's pretty much it for all of that stuff. And if you want a good representation of what you can really do with this app, I recommend you check out our apps, Apple Tech One Toit and My Mail. Uh, both of those were created using this, and they're free, so you can go ahead and try them out. So settings, um, there's really not a lot of settings right here. This is just if you want people to sign up. And then this is really cool. This is what I really, really like about this is push notifications. You do have to have this on iOS, the App Store, or the Google Play Store for this to work, but you can send push notifications to your users. So you can pick a time and date, say your stuff, so you just say hello, and we can have just a bunch of really cool things. Get your users interacting with you, and that's what I really, really like. So under preview up here, we can see what our app will look like in portrait and landscape on a phone, tablet, there's also a web version, so it's more spread out. It's not as good looking, but it definitely works if you ever want to use that. And you can also publish this to iTunes, Google Play, or Facebook. You do have to pay Apple's developer fees and Google's developer fees, but this one really right here is really, really cool. This is HTML, which means you don't have to put it on a store. You don't have to pay any fees. People just go to this link right here, or that one, or scan that, and it will have a pop-up saying add this to your home screen. So you just click the share button, add to your home screen, name it, whatever you want, save it, and that makes it an app. It's on the home screen of your phone that works on iOS, Android, or Windows phone, and they can open the app and use it like it was from iTunes or the Google Play Store. And what's really nice about this is it opens independent from Safari or Chrome. It recognizes it's kind of independent. It does not take you to the website in Safari and runs independent from any other thing. It's all alone. It's standalone application and it's really, really cool. If you want to get started making this for free right now, you can with that link down in the description below. You can do everything we did right here. It's absolutely free. If you would like to publish this on Android, Facebook, HTML5, or iTunes, you do have to pay a monthly fee of $49, but it's totally worth it, and I highly recommend it. But that's going to do me for this video. If you liked it, please feel free to leave it a like, as it helps us so much. Check out iOptech one tweet in my mail for examples on how this works. Again, thank you so much for watching. This is Mark, and have a great day.